This is gonna be an unscripted tutorial for you lads. I'm just to set up a SIO. I'm gonna be as fast as possible so that I don't stutter and shit, you know? So, you got a SIO, you can get them from two places, all right? You can get it either from AliExpress or from Amazon. I would recommend getting it from Amazon if you don't care about paying more and if you needed ASAP, you know, if you needed second day shipping, I don't even know what you guys on first world countries do. But I would nine off time, nine times out of ten recommend it on fucking AliExpress because it's simply cheaper. You get the same thing. Like, don't think, oh, it's AliExpress is gonna be worse quality. It's straight up the same thing. Uh, Amazon are just resellers, that's why it's more expensive. You get the same thing and you pay less. So, you know, if you're not on a rush, I see no reason why you wouldn't wait 10 days and like save money. But I'm gonna add the link for this. As you can see, this is the device. It says 16 bucks. If you log in, it might increase. It might go in like 25 bucks. That's gonna be because this it won't have a welcome deal, all right? Like you can see here, it says like 50 euros. It never goes on 50 euros, but it's definitely gonna be at like 25. So right now I'm 100% not telling you to not make a new account when ordering just for this side device. I'm not telling you to go into signing in connecting a different Google account and straight up getting a welcome deal and buying a site. Like I personally got mine for 13 bucks, but I'm not telling you to do that, all right? Please don't make a new account to save money. Why would you do that? Like, why would you want to save money? Anyways, you order your SEO. I do not have like camera on to show the stuff, but you're gonna get it on a box and the box is gonna have the SEO device itself and the USB-C to USB-A cable. So after you get that connected to your PC, I do not recommend connecting it on the front of your PC, you know, like the little USB slots there. I always connect it on the back of your PC because you're simply gonna have less delay like that. And after you do that, just you straight up open on Chrome, by the way, this doesn't work on Firefox, just putting this out. I don't know why, but it doesn't work on Firefox. But you're gonna, con what we're gonna do now is connect drivers. So you go over here, and you're gonna see, you know, the device over here, if you're done, if you know how to connect a USB device, you know, you're gonna connect it here, it's gonna appear here, and now, see, the thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you the basics, like, basically all I know too, but I'm also gonna link the Google Drive link for my drivers, so that you don't have to, you know, do whatever the fuck, so, for to not procrastinate any longer. Here, this is gonna be the first page you see. You're gonna have Z, X, and C on default. I change, because I use this piece of the SEO, like this button, I change it to app arrow. The way you change it is you go here, and then you press app arrow, then okay, and you're good to go. Like this is now bound to your app arrow, which is gonna be how you play Geometry Dash. The second thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your image. You know, how the SEO device has a little screen over there. You go over here on the left, you go on the images. This is a history of all the images I've used for my SEO. Please don't judge anything. To add your own image, you obviously you know you have to gonna, you're gonna have to set up your own resolution. You're gonna press here to upload it, not this. You're gonna press this upload button. Then you're gonna select your image and it's gonna load over here. Like let me put an example. I don't even know what image is this. Sure, whatever. See, it appears here, you can crop it if your resolution wasn't perfect, and you press on upload and it's gonna be appear here. And you're gonna have it on like, you know, the drivers, like ready to be selected. The way you're gonna set your images, you're gonna go on screen over here later. You're gonna go on with the profile you set up. So it's probably gonna be one of these. And then over here, it's gonna probably gonna say something different, maybe widget. I don't remember what it said on default, but you're gonna set this to say custom images instead of, you know, press count or whatever. And then over here, it's gonna be all the selection of images you have. For example, right now, I pressed on profile zero my, while I'm on profile one. So what you do is just select any fucking image you like, and it's gonna change, like literally as soon as you do it, as soon as you press it. I do not do not change too many images at a fast procession, be, in a fast way, you know, because it might freeze and then you're gonna have to disconnect and reconnect your side, it's gonna fuck stuff up, whatever. So that's all the basics if you want to customize your own SEO. And I'm saying customize because as I said before, I'm gonna give you guys my own drivers. Like right now, I'm gonna press on backup, select all and confirm. So it downloaded right now, these are my drivers. This is the fourth time I make this file, but it doesn't matter, you know? 
like straight up these are my third drivers i'm gonna upload this on drive and you're gonna if you want to obviously you can download this file then press on restore and enter this file and you're gonna have the exact same thing you see from me right now so that is all from the drivers part obviously you know you're gonna save later uh, but I think I covered everything, so let me just go on the... There's going to be two parts, like this was the driver's part, I'm going to go on the hardware part, so be right back. Alright, for the hardware part, basically, as you can see, this is my sale, hello. What you're going to do, oh my god, my finger, I suck at this. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to hold down this button, and you're going to be on settings. You're going to see back, language, display, and button. You're going to go over there on button, press... And then you're going to calibrate. By calibrating, hold on, you, you're going to move it like this clockwork again. And you're going to want to calibrate the button you're going to use. So basically, you press again. And you press the button. All the way. Not too hard though. Don't, like, don't kill it. And you're pretty much done. This was all. And then for keystroke, hold on, I forgot what keystroke is for. Like, hold on. Oh, oh, yeah, keystroke is the most important stuff. So what I want you guys to do is, th these are the settings. This You can experiment with this, obviously. You can do whatever you want. But this is all the settings I have for my Sega device. I think it's very good. I think it's perfect, basically. But you can change them. Like, release is how fast it's going to release. Like, as soon as you the device detects 20 millimeters of releasing, it's going to stop the input. So how you're going to change release is... I'm pretty bad at showing. You're basically just going to press and then you're going to really do it with clockwork. This is on 20, all right? Like trigger is on 0 0.30. Again, you change it like that to 0 for 30 from whatever the default is. And you do the same thing for everything. As you can see, RTN 3.80. This last one, by the way, says 0 0.40 in case it's not visible from my camera, my bad. But you do the same thing again. Like, I know RTN is very high, but I think it's good that way. So again, you know, RTN, and you have to rotate it a lot. Like, be patient, all right? And after you're basically done, like, the display... Wait, which one does it say? Device. USB report rate, device info. You don't really care about that factory reset. You don't care about that. This was the tutorial for the buttons, you know, so... That's basically all there was for the hardware. Like, as soon as you set these up, you're going to be good to go.